Hey folks, today I'm doing a bit of a review as well as some gameplay, but I don't want to give any true spoilers. So as I'm doing this gameplay, uh, there's not going to be any sound coming from the game. Um, Doctor Who has been a franchise that has been near and dear to my heart since childhood. Uh, I grew up watching Doctor Who on a local PBS station. WQEX and WQED in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I lived out adventures pretending to be Doctor Who, pretending to have a TARDIS in my neighborhood, running around with my friends. Didn't really have a sonic screwdriver, but a stick would do, if you get what I'm saying. Um, and The Edge of Time is a game that lets me live out some of those childhood dreams. in a completely new and virtual way. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely love about this game is that Maze Theory has taken the Doctor Who franchise and the Doctor Who universe, and they've made it so that you as the player in this game are fully immersed. Um, it uses environments like this laundromat, for instance. General everyday. Washers and dryers, right? There's some dryers on that side. There's some washers on this side. Uh, normal wash and dry, right? Looks like a normal everyday place. You'll note that it is the 24th of September. I don't know that that's really all that important. But to, to prove that you're immersed in the Doctor Who world, check out the school, Coal Hill School, which is where some of the original characters in Doctor Who came from. And right now, that television is talking and saying some things that are relevant to this game. Now, you can't really interact with that many objects, but look at this. It's That Cat Monthly from May 19th. Double Trouble. And there's another cat on the back. And there's also some other things here, like the Mindful Monu Moments number four here. Um, we're going to go pick up this telephone. And as you can see, there's another cat up here. Can't really grab these. But one of the things, again, uh, this is the Jody Doctor, so the most recent Doctor. Um, and you're going to encounter enemies both familiar if you've watched the series and new if you have not. Um, there's also some not so friendly characters that are not necessarily enemies as you go as well. But the environments are very true to the series. Some of the actions that you take are very true to the series. And there are puzzles. There are other elements to the game beyond puzzles that are very similar to what you would see in a VR game. Um, some of the puzzles are very basic, but they're not simple. They're definitely geared towards someone actually having to take the time to solve them. You can't really speed through unless you already know the solutions. Uh, if we take a look over here at the washing machines, or dryers actually, you can see some pretty uh, scary looking creatures.
And this laundromat is just the first of several environments. There are five chapters in the game. Um, each of the chapters takes on a part of a specific quest that you're trying to help the doctor with. And right now we're going to go through this door. And there's an object right here. It looks like a fuse. First puzzle of the game. Turn that crank. And now the power's on. And look at that. Something very familiar to the Doctor Who series. Sonic Screwdriver. So the Doctor Who lore is there. And... As you can see, another puzzle right here. You're trying to turn this lock so that it lines up so that it unlocks. Just like that. And now we're in another environment that, again, looks very suitable for a Doctor Who episode, right? So in this case, um, the Doctor is again talking to us a bit. Um, and we're trying to solve another puzzle. This is actually the same portion of the game that was part of the Comic-Con demo uh, that Maze Theory produced back this summer. We're trying to assemble an, a, a device that does something pretty cool right now. But again, another environment that seems very suitable for Doctor Who. And oh, what's that? Like a some type of a flying saucer or something up above us. Um, but it's dingy. It's grungy. It looks just like an episode of the series would. Uh, and there's other environments throughout the game. It's not just this backyard that's full of trash. There's lots of other cool stuff that you can see in the game. Um, and like I said, both new enemies and familiar enemies that the Doctor would encounter. And true to Doctor Who, there's not really any gunplay, there's not really any death, just adventure. Um, the full adventure took me about two and a half hours to complete. And that felt like the right length for, for a serial of Doctor Who. Uh, back when I was a kid, the Doctor Who serials lasted four or five episodes of 20, 25 minutes uh, per episode. This being a approximately two and a half hour episode um, feels like one of those old school series. So of course the new series is a little bit longer episodes and things of that nature, but this is a game that feels very true to classic Doctor Who. And I had a ton of fun with it. I felt like I was immersed in the environment. Um, it's not all puzzles. There's, there's tons of other variety. Uh, stealth mechanics, for example, might come into play. Um, in, in a manner of speaking, there might be some shooter elements. There, there's a bunch of different things that happen throughout this event. And right now we're, we're bringing a, another familiar piece of technology in, in, into view. The sonic screwdriver just being one. You also encounter the doctor spacecraft itself the police box formed type 40 TARDIS and I'm not going to enter the TARDIS before I end this review I'm just going to say I really hope that you check this out if you're a fan of Doctor Who this was a fantastic experience and one that is absolutely a must play for any Doctor Who fan uh, there have been other Doctor Who experiences uh, there was the Runaway, which was done by the BBC. Kind of a short, not very interactive experience. 
there was TARDIS VR, a fan project, which was a lot of fun. You could go explore inside the TARDIS, uh, which is something that you can also do in this game. Uh, maybe even drive the TARDIS, who knows? Uh, but for right now, I'm going to leave you with this. I recommend this title. Doctor Who The Edge of Time. A true Doctor Who adventure with you kind of as the star. And a lot of fun. Until next time, I'm going to open this door, take a little peek, and say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. If you're a Doctor Who fan, check this one out. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.